Hi guys, today I have my makeup collection video. This has been so, so requested for me to film and I know that it is huge on YouTube. So if you guys would like to see the storage that I have and everything in my collection, then please keep watching. I also wanted to quickly mention that I am by no means trying to brag or anything like that. Um, this might be a lot for some of you and this might be nothing. So um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video and let's go ahead and get on into my collection. Alrighty guys, so here's an overview of what my vanity and makeup area looks like. I will have all furniture pieces linked down below in case you forget to hear something. I got the desk and the drawers from Ikea and my mirror is from Vanity Girl Hollywood. I also have some Muji organizers and stuff like that on the desk. And then my rug is from Target, which I love. It's just a little area rug. And then my chair I got from TJ Maxx. And I know a ton of girls have this style in their room with the Alex draws and stuff, but I just think it looks super sleek and classy, so yeah. So starting on top of my desk, I have some of my few favorites, my lip glosses, my lipsticks, and a few setting sprays and Q-tips, of course. And this lighted up mirror actually has some outlets where I can plug in hot tools or my phone charger when I'm doing my makeup. So that's one of my absolute favorite parts of this mirror besides the fact that it lights up. But I just love that whole fact. So here are my Gerard Cosmetics lip glosses and lipsticks. They have quickly become my absolute favorite lip product. So I will also have a discount code below. Starting off with the first thing that's on my vanity would be my candle. I got both of these things from Bath & Body Works. So in the first draw of my vanity, I have my most used products and I like to keep it here because it's at easy reach and it's things that I gravitate towards most. So in this first draw, I put these organizers that I had purchased from Ikea as well and they fit my makeup perfectly. So in this first compartment, I have all of my brow things. So anywhere from pomade to spoolies to scissors to my NYX Wonder Pencil. So everything is in there for my eyebrows and I think it fits it perfectly. Moving on over, right next to it, I have my most used mascaras and things that I would like to try. So I have some colored mascara that I want to try. I have my Dior, which is my favorite mascara ever that I use every single day. I also have some lash glue for when I do lashes and my eyelash curlers. And they are definitely go-to products for me. And right behind there, I have eyeshadow palettes that I'm using currently. So I have my Too Faced one and some Laura Geller shadows that I've been using. Scooching on back, I have some shadow sticks that I keep back there. I love eyeshadow sticks when you're in a hurry. I think it's so convenient, so I have quite a few of those that I keep in there. And then I have my eyeliners in this little section, and I have from gel eyeliners to markers to my regular eyeliners, and I don't have too many, but it's all good. In this section, I like to keep my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters right over here. I like to face them upwards on like the side so I can see what they are. So right here, I have my e.l.f., my NYX. Milani Mac and some drugstore products and then I have my spackle by Laura Geller which is a highlighter and then my face powders are in this little section so I have my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder which is my favorite I've hit pan on it and my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder then I have some NYX powders and then we have my current foundations. I do have higher end and drugstore in this little section. Right here is my Summer Shade by Revlon. That's my color Stay Whipped. I love it. And then I have some foundation sticks, which I use for contouring. Then in the section behind there, I have primers, which is anywhere from eye primers to face primers. And then I also have my Makeup Forever setting powder in there as well. I don't really know why it's in there, so moving on over here, I have my brushes that sit right on top of my Muji draw. And I switch these up every once in a while before they were on my mirror section. And now I put them on top of here. I like some change sometimes. So right here I have my brushes. And I love that rusted metal look again. So that's what they sit in. And I have some beauty blenders. And I believe I purchased the brush holders from Marshall. And then moving on to the first draw, I like to have my palettes. So I have my Naked palettes and I have my Lorac Pro palette as well. So I like to keep all of my palettes in here. I love the fact that this Muji Draw is clear because I can actually see what I'm going to use and I will make sure to use those products and it's not going to be hidden away and that I forget about them because I would like to try it. So my next draw would be my contouring draw. So I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour and my Normal Contour Kit. So so my third draw has as well again some more eyeshadow palettes. So I have my Amrezy palette by Anastasia, which I love and I don't think that you can get that one anymore. I think it might be done, but I love the colors. And then I have my Sigma Warm Neutrals palette, which is another one of my go-to. So those stay 
right in there and I wish that I could fit more in there but only two palettes can fit. Then the next draw has my blush palette from e.l.f. which I don't know why it's in there but it is. And then I have my Z palette which I created with some Makeup Geek products. So those are my Makeup Geek go-to shadows. And then the final draw has some miscellaneous lip products. I reached a lot towards the Vaseline and stuff but the rest of it I just really honestly didn't have a place for it and I don't really use them. So moving on to the tops of my Alex draws, I like to keep my jewelry. I love the fact that I can see my jewelry. I don't know why. It's just so appealing to my eye and I don't know. I just love it. So I have this nice little velour thing that I got from Walmart, I believe, that holds my bracelets. And For my earrings and rings, I like to use this cheetah tray that I got from Bath & Body Works. It was only a few bucks and I think it goes perfectly with my whole theme. So I laid down my earrings and my rings on here and it's super cute. I also have this lippy canvas that I got from TJ Maxx. I absolutely love it. So here's my Alex 9 draw. I love this thing, okay? So the first draw has all of my palettes and some of my MAC pigments that I just didn't have a spot for. But these are the palettes that I don't really go towards on an every single day, but I obviously need to store them somewhere. So I have my e.l.f. palette, my BH Cosmetics one, and then I have a big Sephora palette behind there with a bunch of shadows and things like that. The second draw, I keep all of my hygiene products. So I have my deodorant, some ear care when I had gotten my ears pierced. I have some teeth whitening things, a facial cleanser. So over here I have an acrylic draw that I got from TJ Maxx. It's actually one of the kitchen aid kind of products where you can use in your kitchen, but I like to use it for this because it stores it so well. So I have like hand creams and some products from Lush and lotion and a lip balm. So that all stays in there. And then I have, like I said, some teeth whitening products and then I have some Sephora samples. I like to store them over there so I can actually see and use them up. Have some teeth whitening pens and some tea tree oil for those pimples. <laughs> and then I have a face mask and a facial cleanser. So this is where I like to keep all of my hygiene products. On to the next draw, I like to keep my eyeshadows. So right here I have some of my single eyeshadows as well as some palettes and trios from the drugstore right next to it. And this draw is not that organized, but I'm dealing with it. I'm gonna have to clean it out a little bit better and get another organizer, but they just stay right there. And then I have a clear acrylic case on the left of it. So that I got at TJ Maxx as well, and it's just holding my single eyeshadows that I'm planning on depotting and putting into a palette. Then moving on to the next draw, which is my favorite draw, you guys. It is my lippy draw and some lashes. So I keep some lipsticks and lip glosses in here. I also have another one of those organizers that I put all of my lipsticks in that are just like thrown in there. And I have some lashes in the back. These are Ardell and my Velour Mink. Then I also have some Q-tips that I just store back there. And then I have my lip liners right next to it that I don't really have too many. So, I And this draw, I'm obviously still building and putting lipsticks in when I get new purchases. So there is spots that are blank right here, but I like to just kind of stand them up so I can see the names of them. Moving on to the next draw is my skincare. So, we have some Lush bath bombs, we have some hydrating masks, some detoxifying masks, my Clarisonic Mia, and then I have a shampoo in here which shouldn't be in there, but this is basically all for the skin. So I have my lotions, and then I have my case for my Clarisonic Mia too, and I have a few things that I need to try. Next draw is my nail polish and extra draw. So what I mean by extra is I have some foundations that I don't use because they're not my color. So that'd be for freelancing that I like to keep in there. And then I do own quite a few nail polishes. So I like to keep them in here. Although I don't really paint my nails all that often anymore, I still like to do them for my toes. So they stay in this draw and I absolutely love it. It's so colorful. The next straw, I like to store all of my hair care products. So I have coconut oil, some shampoo and conditioner, hot tools, hair ties, I have some headbands and clips and my bun makers. Moving right along to the next one, I have some cosmetic totes and bags that I like to store in here. I have quite a few, so it needed a home. So I have all of those in there. And then the last straw in this Alex straw is my everything draw. So I have everything from eyelash curlers to a brush belt to, I don't even know, a Mac little organizer. And then I have a phone case and I like to store my candles in here as well. So I have two back there that I have to still burn. 
Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps up my makeup collection and little vanity area. This is my favorite part of my room and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I really hope that you guys don't think that I came off as bragging or anything like that because this was so, so requested and a lot of you guys wanted to see it. So I thought it was time that I'd finally do one for you. I hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. I love you all so, so incredibly much. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And be sure to check the description box where I have everything listed for you guys if you want to know where everything is from. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.